One day after the explosion, federal investigators arrived. An NTSB team arrived in Minneapolis this morning. And offered their first reaction. Very complex. It was the, the, the damage was was extensive to the to the building. And so begins an exhaustive investigation, one that will involve several players from the academy itself to the gas company and will focus on what exactly workers were doing moments before the blast. We understand that this explosion happened in the course of moving a gas meter and that's what we will be exploring starting tomorrow. Also tomorrow investigators will begin digging in by reaching out to the contractor master mechanical. That will be one of the first things they will do is to, to look at to get connected with that company and find out what they've done and what they know about this event. A conversation that will include standard questions such as the training and qualifications of the workers and whether they might have been tired, distracted or impaired. Our mission is to understand not only what happened but more importantly why it happened so that we can make recommendations to prevent it from happening again. And while the investigators should wrap up their field investigation within a week, it will take about a year for a final report. Meantime, Lincoln would be more over in this area. Minneapolis Superintendent Ed Graff has already reached out, offering the Academy a chance to open these doors on their first day. We're just extending an offer and uh, hoping to help and assist however we can. We're just um, very mindful of uh, you know what occurred and our hearts um, go out to the families and everyone affected by this great tragedy and they're, they're in our thoughts. Lincoln School, just one option the Academy is considering. At this point, we do know that the investigators will move their work inside the building once the building is deemed safe. We are also told that they are calling out to witnesses to share their statements, their video, their pictures, anything that can help them with the investigation. And we have the contact information for the NTSB on our website, care11.com. Julie and Randy, back to you. All right. Thank you, Carla.